Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to take you through some videos on YouTube and we're going to kind of talk about them because I'm having getting, I'm getting some questions. I've had Austin over here today and he was doing his thing. He's coming a long ways and just we could work on our rod angle. We could uh, look at some footage that's already on YouTube and kind of give you some thoughts about what's happening on the screen. So bear with me while I share the screen. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. All you pipe welders. I really enjoy talking with you guys in the comments. <clears throat> Been motivated lately. Okay. First, we've got uh welding tips and tricks man this guy's been around for a while and i liked his footage because he gets really good screenshots but check this out so for this first little bit this is going to be the, just about like welding that 45 downhill welding plate. downhill with a hippie rod same technique a little back and forth hitch a little whip and pause but not okay that to me i mean he's really moving if you're really hot and you're pop, 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 popping that hot pass in there. Hey, everybody welds different. Uh, I don't, I don't think I step that much until I get on the bottom. And a lot of times, I'll just hold it in there. When I'm putting a hot pass in, I'll just hold it on the side. Hold it, let it fan out. You can just drag it down the pipe. Now, when you get down here, you're gonna have to start, you know, moving it. But let's keep watching. Not coming out of the puddle. Andrew's trying to prop with one hand and kind of gradually bend his knees. And grad All right, that's another thing. If you're holding on over here with one hand, you, you don't have that uh, stability. Now, I'm not saying the guy welds great. I'm not harping on him. I'm not saying anything bad about it. But it would be a lot better, a whole lot better, if you could prop up on something. Get a jack stand over there where you can, you know, I always had to do that. Get my arm on the pipe, get a finger on there. Sometimes you can do like this, you know, if you're in a real tight jam. But as far as just holding on and welding, that wouldn't be my thing. So just consider that. Gradually squat down, gradually keep his head in the right line of sight to see the arc like he needs to. And then as he gets down to the bottom, once again, he will transition to technique a little bit to more of a whip and pause to coming out of the puddle yeah, to control the heavy. deposition rate because again it's very easy to get heavy on your deposition when you get on the bottom so here we go transitioning here coming out of the puddle a little bit 60 tens and 70 tens they're made to do this I'll, i know i'll get a lot of argument here but this is just one of several techniques that can work this is what andrew does when he gets to the bottom to control the reinforcement That's definitely a especially on the cover pass well, that was just root and hot pass on three plates and pipe. If you want to see each individual video, I will link them. Okay. Thank you, tips and tricks guy. Okay, so let me get out a screen share here. So you saw him. He was coming down the pipe. Just kind of, they call it whipping, but it's more stepping. You get down the bottom, you start making those long. You start get down the bottom, you're going to start long stepping and then you're gonna boop, 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 run off the side okay and try to find a prop it's a couple things we can take from that and just consider what i asked you to do when you're coming when you have to step on top now you'll have to you have to get it going but when you get on the side you just hold it in there and go all oh, this is gravy just go 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 and then we get down here you have to start stepping again so give that a shot. All right. Next video. All right. This is Austin Ross. He's got some good videos, too. And i got to give him kudos. His horizontal look, look really good, but we're going to take some things away from this. First off, the rod angle. Now, this is a horizontal, but I just want you to pay attention to his rod angle. His rod angle's down here. Got my rod wrong. His rod angle's down here, and he's he's stepping, and he's 
pulling up to that top and then he's coming down pulling up to the top and coming out you want to stay on that top a little bit longer than the bottom because gravity's fighting i used to love horizontals because nobody liked to do them and i just got good at them and they were fun because i could put a one bead cap on it and he does the same thing most people put a two bead but uh i kind of expected him to do a two bead but he did one bead and it looks good Lays are made from real potatoes oh from over 100 farms across America. There's one here and here. All right, so here it is. This is where we. First off, what do you notice right out of the gate? Look how low he left it. That's his filler, and that's the only one he's going to put in there. Leave it a little bit low. Makes it so much easier to cap, especially with a horizontal weld. We put our first. Uh, Strip are real ugly. This is a hot pass that was plenty full enough. I'm going to try to cap that. This is the hot pass. And then I started another filler right here. And you can see that bottom edge. I tried to leave. Oh, well, that's a little full. And filler all the way around this way. That's the challenging thing about stick welding and like a pipeline welding. With stick welding, it's hard. To keep it clean and looking good maybe that's the case with any type of welding all i know is whenever i first started welding pipe i was so focused on making a clean weld that my welds were ugly but i didn't i didn't really care because i mean with, on pipeline it's all about clean welds we want to beat x-ray so the longer i did it and uh one job in particular we were on a 42 inch slug catcher it was for energy transfer. They required a five bead cap. It was uh, roughly a triple eight wall, if I remember. So just under. An All right. Right on. That looks like it's a little heavy to me. But... Let's brush wow. that off. Take a look at it before we go any further. Oh, that's his cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yep, so he's coming up to the top and coming down. Coming up to the top and down. Yeah, he stays on the top more than the bottom. I need to do a horizontal well on one of those guys. Go ahead and get good at him. I'm going to have to do it. I would have Austin do a horizontal one. Right, I'll rush this along. Weld is actually really. Now all I want to do is make another one. To try Looks to make good, it man. Much better. I remember now why I like it low capping it low see there because it just welds a lot better cap it low but it's got to be just the right amount you know watching this footage of me okay now remember leave it low you want to be able to see these bevels if you blow those bevels off your cap's gonna look like crap okay leave the shoulder of the bevel rod angle Try to think through that. Try to think through as you're coming down, as you're, because it needs to be, if you're going from the top to the bottom, you don't need to be stopping a bunch of times. Just room for error. It looks bad. Restarts. Try to get in a position where you can go all the way down, ease down on one knee. My right leg is so much bigger than my left leg <laughs> from, from doing that. It's like a slow lunge. And uh, just one solid, smooth movement. Take all that into consideration. Now, the last video I'll share with you. Stand by. All right. Check this out. This is the welding professor. He's a good welder, too. All right. I, didn't, I don't understand that, though. 
I'm going to let you see that again. Everybody well is different. I'm not talking bad about anybody, but watch it. He drags it three inches before he starts welding. Now, I want you to see, you see all that stuff on the bevel there, the BBs and imperfections? Well, in my, from my experience, when you do that, when you, when you strike down and come all the way back up, because that's what I, that's how I was taught. But what was happening was BBs and, and crap will stick all over it. And then when you're coming back down it, the fire will be down in the bevel and that BB will be over here and it'll, it'll kind of run you into the side of the, the pipe or you'll have to go up and over something. So, you know, to, to every, every welder welds different. I'm not talking bad about him, but that's just something to consider. You're going to grind the top tack anyway, where you start. You're going to grind your start. And what else do I want to show you? It was really about it on this big wall. And they drug oh, it off. Always the side make sure your pipe is level. And then once the pipe. I'm not worried about the pipe being level. Soaking it in. All right. So, guys, when he's talking about soaking it in, let me get out of this. When he's talking about soaking it in, all that means is you're, instead of just ripping down it, because you can see this one's got a big old, Austin tacked these up today. That's pretty big on this side, and it's jammed up on this side. So, we're going to have to turn it down. You get him going up here, and as he goes, when he gets about right here, it's going to get start getting a little tight, and he's going to have to say up, 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 and it'll, it'll just go in just like it's supposed to. So, uh, and like I said, I'm not sure uh, about the dragging it all the way back, starting up here, dragging down, and then all the way back. It, it leaves room for stuff like that, that, that those uh, knots and that BB and stuff like that on the edge. And I saw him leave like that, too. I always just pop it out. I'm welding along. I'll be on the keyhole. And whenever I get ready to stop, usually on the bottom, I'll tell you a story at the end of this video, uh, I'll just mm, pop, and I'm out of it. If you slowly pull back, if you do this, you'll blow a big hole in it. That, that hole will get bigger. The keyhole will get bigger. So when you're coming down, what I would recommend, you're coming down when you get ready just pop it out of there be done with it now let me know if you like these review videos uh, i'll never talk bad about another welder everybody welds different but real quick on the story <laughs> that story came to my mind when i was talking uh so i had that little trick going right when i'd come down the bottom of the pipe i could flick that baby and a ball of fire would go 20 foot all right didn't really know it until this day but um, I was coming down the bottom piece of pipe, and I flicked it, and it went out in a field. That little BB went out in the field and caught that baby on fire. We're over there just welding along, you know, and all of a sudden we hear crackling and roaring going on. Look over, and the whole field's on fire. And my good buddy, his name's Stevie, turned around to his helper and said, I told you about throwing them cigarette butts out in the field. Oh, man, I remember it like it was yesterday. Poor Kurt. All right, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. Happy welding. I'll see you in the next one. Later.